Our chef in a shoestring this morning is offering comfort food, Jersey Italian style. Mike Isabella is chef and owner of the recently opened Graffiato in Washington, D.C. He's also the runner-up on Top Chef All-Stars. And he's about to release his first cookbook, Flavors from a Jersey Italian. Well, this morning, Chef Mike will prepare a three-course meal of Italian comfort food on a budget of just 40 bucks. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. Same here. It looks so good. What's the menu today? Uh, today we have... Um uh, caramelized butternut squash. Uh -huh. We have a uh, sh short rib ragu with uh, parpa del pasta. All right. And then we have, um, uh, to finish, we have a uh, orange spiced uh, panna cotta. Okay, let's get going. What's first? So first we have some butternut squash here. Um, you know, we're in, the, we're in the fall season right now. Mm -hmm. You like to work with fall vegetables. Mm -hmm. So this is um, a dish that we'll, we'll, we prepare at the restaurant a lot. And basically, you know, it comes around the fall, pumpkin season, squash season. So you know it's, it's usually good and fresh. Mm -hmm. So I just want to kind of cut it in half. It's a really, really easy dish to prepare. We kind of cut it, scoop out the seeds, uh, rub it with a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. sprig of rosemary, and then I'm just going to um, pop this in the oven uh, for about 375 degrees for about um, 45 minutes okay. to an hour. You scoop it out and it looks like, uh, it come, looks like that. Yeah, it actually looks like this. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take it out of the oven. This yeah. is after roasting it right. uh, for about 45 minutes, and you can see it gets all nice and caramelized. Just pull the rosemary out, and we're yeah. just gonna kind of just peel that skin. Yeah, exactly. Right, right off. off, and um, you know, you just want to kind of heat up, heat it up. You know, chop it up, and then throw it into the pan. You could you could break it up. All right. And we just kind of throw that into the pan here, and we're just gonna put a little bit of color on there. Okay. Um, and this is a great side to go to go with your dish. It's, it's healthy. It's seasonal. Uh, it's got a lot of flavor. And, uh, and it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun vegetable to eat. It has a lot of sweetness to it. And we're going to caramelize it up. And you have the rosemary in there to kind of give it a little depth and flavor. Okay. You know, right. hit it with a little salt. And that'll uh, caramelize up as, as we're going through. I'll try that in just a bit. Sounds yeah. Good. Let's move on to the entree here. So next we have, we're going we're gonna to do a, uh, a, a braised short rib. Now, this takes time. You know, you could, you could do it a day in advance. Right. You could uh, do it. It's going to take a couple hours. So basically, mm. we, we got some nice braised. Yeah, it looks good. Some, some meat here. This is, mm. well, this is boneless short rib. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we're going to um, season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Right. We're going to pop it in the pan with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of oil. Uh -huh. And then we're going to caramelize it up. Right. After we get when I when I say caramelize, we want to we want to get a nice nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. And this is this is it. It takes about three to four minutes to sear on all sides. So that's all. Three that's four it, yeah. And okay. and it's still raw in the middle because it's it's a tougher type piece of meat. So it's yeah. going to take longer to cook. Right. So after we sear, we pull it out, and then we're going to put all in our, all our braising stuff in. So we're going to put a little bit of garlic mm -hmm. in here, into the pan. All right. Then we have a little bit of uh, onion. Right here. Okay. And this is all going to just start slowly sweating down, cooking, pulling all the flavors out. Mm -hmm. um, as that starts to tenderize up a little bit in the pan, we're going to put a little bit yeah. of tomato paste. Right. Now, all told, how long should this part of the process take? This will probably take, from start to finish, about three and a half hours. All right. All right. And uh, you just want to kind of put everything in, let it, let it slowly cook down. Once you have all your vegetables in there, uh, you're going to throw a little bit of uh, white wine in there. Right. You want to cook that out a little bit for uh -huh. a couple of minutes, about three, three to four minutes. Mm -hmm. Once that cooks out, we're going to add in our tomatoes, ah. which is some uh, diced tomatoes okay. chopped up from the can. And then we have our little bundle of flavor right here. <laughs> this is like, a, I have a cinnamon stick, I have a rosemary, I have a bay leaf, and I just tie it so it stays together. I kind of keep it and then let it All cook right, because it's going to cook for a long period and of time. you put your meat in there, we're talking like three and a half hours. Three hours. Three, three and a half hours. And then comes out. It peels off, it's like that. Yeah, then it breaks down as you cook it for a long time, uh, as it cooks in the oven, mm. you know. And then once it comes out, I kind of just beat it up a little bit with, um, with my spoon and my tongue and stir it around. And you have all the tomato, you have the cinnamon spice in there. What pasta are you going to... We have Parpadel pasta. Parpa right. The reason why I'm using Parpadel pasta is because it's, it's a bigger, flatter, wider noodle. And when you have a heavy meat, it's not just a, a basic tomato sauce. Right. So you want something to kind of really stand up to it. Because if you use like a linguine or a spaghetti, uh, it's not, it's not going to hold up to it. So I blanch it off. And you can pre-cook this, toss it with some olive oil. You can just cook it to order. Mm -hmm. And then I just t toss it in once it's cooked. All right. With the, uh, with, with the ragu. Can't wait to try this as well. We've got about uh, 30 seconds left, Mike. Go ahead and give me a quick rundown here of the dessert. Cool. Uh, and then here we have a panna cotta. It's a really easy dessert. Uh, you just mix a couple ingredients into the pot. We have some, uh, some milk here, uh, a little bit of gelatin mm -hmm. uh, that goes in here, some sugar. And we're just going to bring this up to a boil with a little bit of vanilla bean that we're going to split in half and uh, put inside of here. Okay. And then once it melts and all absorbs, then we're going to puree it up in the blender. 
uh, and let it set, and we're going to pour it into our glass molds, and uh -huh. we have a nice little yeah. vanilla custard. And then we have, we want to finish it off with a little, see, we cooked down our oranges, mm -hmm. okay. a little sugar, some spice, some false spices, some all cinnamon, right. allspice, and clove. You ready? A and then we have uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. a Just nice like time. Oh, wow. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about I they try always it? show up around <laughs> this one. <laughs> Let's see how you did on the cost breakdown. As we said, you had forty dollars to do this. Let's see how you did. Hopefully, we made it. Thirty-eight eighty-two. Right. Oh, you didn't that. make it. Let's see if you're on the board. Uh, no, nah, not on the board. But mm. hey, barely still good. Him. Barely. Okay. Still good. Yeah, barely. But you made no, up for the good. taste. This I'm, is terrific. I'm awesome. over here. And that smells good as well. I want to try yeah. this also. Awesome. Congratulations on the restaurant. Job. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank now you, you can, very much. You can see some of these recipes in my book coming out next fall of um, flavors from a Jersey Italian. From New Jersey. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is like, this is like serving up ribbons. <laughs>